Indra Jal is the Jal or the magic woven by Lord Indra. And I have with me Green Robotics founder, Mr. Kiran Raju. What is Indra Jal and what is it trying to do? So Indra Jal is uh, one of its kind counter drone system. Uh, it focuses, uh, it, it's, it's a system that can actually protect against all classifications of drones um, and all uh, environments. So, so we, when we think of drones, we only think of uh, phantoms or DJIs, but actually what's really challenging is the bigger drones that are uh, able to cross more than 100 kilometers, fly more than 5 hours. There are a substantial amount of classification of drones, as well as uh, the same counter drone system will not work in mountains, sea or uh, urban areas. So there's a substantial uh, a technical challenge. So Indrajal is the first, I would say the first of its kind to be able to counter all of these uh, uh, challenges because of some of the core technologies that we use, which I'll take you through now. Okay. Uh, Indrajal, as I understand it, is providing that kind of... Uh cover, security cover against any kind of an aerial attack that happens of a yes. drones, right? Uh, so you are going to take us through what is the requirements that you have. You call this a spider mesh. What is a spider mesh? So, so, so spider mesh is uh, crucially important because every component on this drone has been purchased from Amazon. So we want just want people to understand that today it's very easy to buy these separate, separate bits uh, from Amazon and build a drone which look exactly like this and you can probably carry a very small payload, uh, small firearm. Um, so if you think that embassies are safe, we have to think of it like road infrastructure, right? Like that drone infrastructure is going to be crucial. So the first layer of a drone infrastructure is security. Second layer would be managing friendly drones and so on and so forth and layer and layer about the drone highways, drone traffic control. So, but the first phase is security. So I think that's what... Since we, uh, as part of the demonstration, we get to see all this. So explain to us what is what but we are seeing. This is an RF direction finder. So this basically, uh, up to 5 kilometers in this area, if there is any uh, drone, it can detect any RF emission, but this one is tuned to detect a drone RF emission. So if any drone is uh, really, uh, is being pi remotely piloted or releasing any kind of RF signal, this will detect it and tell our command and control center, probably in this sector, about 2 kilometers out, there is probably a, a drone flying, but it, it does not give uh, the accuracy of a radar, which you see up there. Uh, if you see that, uh, those are those are radars, yeah. so they can actually give you pinpoint location to maybe 10 meter accuracy, whereas this can give maybe up to 60 meter accuracy, right? So uh, both together will eliminate birds because at this cross section, even a bird can be detected by the radar, right? So you'll think a bird is a drone, but it's not really. Yeah. But this and that put together, you'll eliminate all the clutter, and you'll only realize that this is actually a drone. So what stage is it in now? Are you already talking to the Indian military establishment? Is the uh, defense uh, ministry already speaking about using this? Because you come from the private sector and uh, for uh, deployment to happen of technology from the private sector to uh, into the Indian military must be uh, quite something. Um, I, as a green robot, as a company, we have applied AI in the private sector. But actually, our family business, we have been doing defense construction for about 70 years. Uh, so far uh, all specialty projects but in the MES div division. So we do have experience with uh, defense needs and military grade equipment and Wing Commander Sayu, Sayu is the co-founder. He has come from the industry and he is, the, he is instrumental in building IACCS which today protects, uh, which is one single system that watches the entire Indian skies. right? Um, so it was network centered like what we are talking about Indrajal. The Indian Air Force has already built IACCS which monitors above 15,000 feet or 20,000 feet like big, big planes, right, which are probably coming into the country. So Indrajal is more like a drone version of IACCS which is going to monitor the entire uh, a city because drone is a state subject now. So it's going to be reasonably uh, tricky. Because as we see it obviously, um, that is where the biggest obviously utility in many ways, yeah. but also the biggest security threat is going to be from the drone. Yeah. This, uh, I think the security threat is the drone, but again, it's 5% of the 95% which are friendly. As of today, when you look up in the sky, you don't see, but eventually you're going to see 50 drones flying. If at any given point of time, you look in any direction, there will be 50 drones, but they're all could How be friendly. How soon are we going to see that? As someone who's been in the field of AI? As soon as this infrastructure is built. I think secure, if you don't can't secure a place, then no Swiggy or Amazon will be able to fly their drones as yeah. the crow is in an urban setting, right? 
outside yes uh, agriculture yeah, and all of this yes but in the urban an urban setting where the value is maximum and drone taxes are already there um we have to understand that security layer has to be built first and then we'll be able to see that what I is this see it. this is a 5 km jammer so it can uh, it can jam uh, uh, the rf signals of a drone 5 km out so because the ra the radar detection can tell you okay there's a drone in that direction about 2 km out you can this will turn to that direction and be able to jam it um so that it gives uh, time so when when you jam a drone either it, the drone falls Movement down will stop stop it can fall down or it can return to home so these are probably the three functions it will do um uh, but it yeah i think it gives is is buys you time okay uh, and what does your command control actually do in all this when you are uh, when you are able to detect a drone you said uh, distances is one thing and you are providing a canopy for a huge uh, huge area so you, are you expecting individual state governments who who are you marketing this to and who are your buyers at the state government level it will be the police uh because they are uh, like i think there uh, be because ministry of home affairs uh, even at the state level or at a central level are the uh, are uh, in charge of uh, yeah. uh protecting uh hinterland as well as outside state subject, right? yeah state mm -hmm. subject so 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 under ministry of home affairs as of now police are the primary protectors uh so they would be the ideal guys to uh at a state level to buy this system now air force navy and um, uh, army have their own respective needs uh, and critical infrastructure uh, goes to security teams of private industry right uh, we talk to the head of security for controlled data centers head of security for gmr airports yeah. right so those are the people who typically buy this. how will this be integrated with already existing air defense systems of the army yeah so uh, the integrate i mean uh, really india is reasonably ahead uh with civil and air space uh, with digital sky as an initiative uh, so they already have apis available uh, and and moving fast enough which i see which is great so you will integrate with those apis for civil and air space and uh, with the iaccs for the uh, air force or the for the military air space um so uh, when when a drone comes into visibility we are going to check on both these systems whether there's a flight path registered or is a registered drone with a so it you have to think of it like a registered car when you know the number plate you'll check whether okay is the number plate valid or not right mm -hmm. so that even fake number plates will not work because it has to it has to do that in seconds in does. seconds mm -hmm. right If, because by the time it comes into my uh, area of I'm trying to protect i should stop it outside that so it i should it should be in seconds that we are able to check and you are saying all this is uh, ai driven 12 layers of sec technology that you are talking about yeah. so the response time is quick and it's automated is it yeah yeah absolutely so yeah, let me yeah. we'll just walk into the command and control center is it what it's called yeah it's a command center yeah this is the main computing system so this actually is processing uh, all the data coming from all the devices uh, and it actually uh, focuses on video analysis as well so i would say this is the brain of the of the system um, while uh, this is the brain uh, this is the interface to uh, work on the system right this so, is the terrain the topography yeah, so you, right so you will be able to do all your actions of controlling the system from here right um, so this is the command center Uh, where any any commander who's sitting here will be able to control whether it's 5 km area or 50 km area or 500 km area it doesn't matter the system alerts you first and you are able to take actions but uh, it's harmless for us in uh, uh, yeah. license after and doing all the classification so when i when the officer sees this he'll understand what is the height what is the thing what does it look like so if you have cameras in the vicinity it will show me what it looks like so it it gives enough data for uh, for the user to take a decision but there's also something called an auto mode so when you night time and nobody is watching you put it in auto mode it, it will take a decision can alert you no it will take a decision, a decision to, to 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 counter the sound or completely because some they are talking about minutes right there is no time so once the system is trained so for example when straining it will say that this bird is a drone so we say no so after a lot of such reinforcement training the system is able to then go into auto mode where it will not detect birds as threats but when it detects a threat it will take a decision whether to counter or not right so, so is the technology very expensive for instance you are saying that it's a huge uh, area that it can cover 
for five four thousand kilometer area that you spoke about square kilometers is that okay so if that is the area then uh, a city can be covered by uh, a yeah. uh, system like city. Yeah. Yeah, city. Yeah, city. i would say that cities will be uh, initially when we start with a hyderabad city we might only focus on four five places like the secretariat cm's house five things and once the main system is core infrastructure is built and the base five systems are there then you can keep on adding it's and we keep on evolving the tech also it's not just adding of locations as drones uh, become more smarter our counter measures also become smarter okay one final question everything ai based obviously that is a future but uh, the risk of hacking is that much as well is it the risk of hacking yes uh, like i said uh, if to hack our ai there might be other ai that's hacking it uh, i see that I, i see that in the future that the fight is between ai and ai right uh, so yes hacking is 100% there uh, but like we have four layers of security i think we are in in security we are one of the the best in terms of ability to because we are not depending on the 4g 5g networks right we we first of all a closed network right so that eliminates half the challenges um uh, because you have to physically connect to be able to and uh, how unique is this in the world this system like i'm saying is as first what we launched today is first in the country and i would say in the top 3 in the world there are only two other com- companies uh, that have this capability of counter measure i would say yeah okay thank you so much so fascinating uh, technology that's been demonstrated here in uh, hyderabad uh, uh, for deployment not just in the military but in uh, public installations and still places a big big a uh, strengthening tool for the defense of the country in hyderabad with camera person nagraju kumar sudhir ndtv 